officially open the front door. The Ministry of Long-Term Care certainly didn't make this decision lightly, looking at vaccination rates, looking at immunity within the uh, community, so certainly deciding that it was time to bring a sense of normalcy back to long-term care, to the residents, to the staff, and to the families of long-term care. Um, so certainly um, it's, it's a big change, um, but it's something that is very very much welcomed. Um, it brings us a, a sense of you know we're we're moving past the pandemic. I'm really excited because not that it was that big a deal, but um, you know we had and, and we had to do it for safety. But the swabbing and screening and everything, mm -hmm. we don't have to do that. It's going to be so much easier going forward just to pop in and say hi to the people that we support here, and and um, it's going to be just so much better <laughs> again. Like. And it just feels normal. I've been here for quite a few years as volunteer as well before having a family member here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just to not have to, it's not that it's that bad. There's nothing bad with having what they had to do, the checks. I'm glad it was done. It, mm -hmm. it probably saved a lot of sickness in here. But now to just be able to push the button and come in that door, you know, it's, it's life starting over again. <laughs> Certainly um, the restrictions and the screening and the testing did what it was intended to do here at Fairburn. It was very effective. Uh, the home throughout the whole three years only had three COVID outbreaks and all three were fairly mild, which really was not the case in many long-term care homes throughout the province. I think it's going to take a little bit of time to sink in to, you know, not coming through the door and having someone there asking you, you know, about your symptoms, about have you traveled, any of those questions that we've been asked day after day after day for the last three years and also just not to have to undergo that testing. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I can speak for myself, it was a little bizarre coming into work this morning and, and not having to, to go through that process. Um, but again, I just think it's that it's that really they've, they've done their job, they've followed the restrictions, they've done what had to be done based on the restrictions that were put in place and because of their willingness to be vaccinated to go through all of these processes, we are where we are now in that we've got high vaccination rates among our staff, among our residents, among our families and that truly is what has, has assisted the province to move forward in loosening the restrictions for long-term care. Thank you all for your cooperation and your patience and your your dedication to the home and to our residents. So thank you.